So, for the last two weeks, I've been literally sitting on this couch trying to write, how do you vlog if your life is boring? And literally, if I'm not working my day job, doing my chores, or taking care of the baby, I've been sitting here just trying to write. And needless to say, it hasn't been working. But then, something clicked when I remembered this series of vlogs about productivity by a guy named Ali Ekdal. When I looked at his vlogs again, I'm like, I can do that. I sit around all day in front of the computer. I take notes on Notion. And once upon a time, I tried increasing my typing speed by playing games. Yeah, I can do that. And I eat, I watch TV, and I eat some more when I shouldn't. But he's getting like hundred thousands of views for his vlogs. And they're just basically him sitting around all day at home. And not only that, his channel went from 600k to 1.7 million over the last year while he's sitting at home. Is it because he's cheeky and a doctor? Or is it because he put the word productivity in his title? Did you ever think that maybe there's more to life than being really, really, really ridiculously good looking? So there must be some sort of secret sauce I can borrow and just apply to my life and make it entertaining to vlog about, right? So here's the plan. I'll break down all his vlogs and then I'll take the parts that applies to me and then I'll put my own spin on it. So first thing first, his vlog seems simple enough. He pretty much just narrates over some shots that he's taken over the course of a day. And he starts every morning waking up from bed. But interestingly enough, nine times out of 10, he actually struggles to get out of bed even though the vlog is called the most productive day ever. Hey friends, welcome back to the vlog. Today is the continuation of my journey to become a Gymshark athlete. I wake up at 8.30, but end up lying in bed for another 40 minutes. Hey, I set my alarm for 7.30 a.m., but as usual, I decide to have a lion. So at 10 a.m., I finally manage to negotiate myself out of bed and into the bathroom. The day starts at 8.30 when I wake up and lie in bed for a few minutes, pondering the vagaries of human existence. Maybe by subverting our expectation of what an insanely productive day looks like, he's actually endearing his audience to him. At least he's not going to make it on one of these videos that make fun of guys who does these picture-perfect routines and wake up with perfect hair out of bed. Because the struggles are real. In the book Story Worthy, the author Matthew Dick says, In fact, stories about failure, embarrassment, and shame are fantastic. Stories about trying desperately to achieve a goal and failing spectacularly are beloved. Okay, so the first rule is having a clear topic. An overarching goal, if you will. For you, maybe it's trying to figure out how to edit your videos better, or you're trying to eat healthier, or maybe you're just going to pick up a pair of shoes. For me as a newish dad, I think a big theme is trying to be more productive. There's just too many things to do in a day with too little time. And a struggle is not waking up early enough, distracted by playtesting a game that the company I work for is doing, watching YouTube, Netflix, yada yada yada. Um, I think this part is not going to be too bad. There's many struggles here. At this point, I'm supposed to do some more writing, but instead I end up being a total waste man and eating the entirety of my crepe while watching Friends being a total waste man, being a waste man, being a waste man, waste man, gym shark, gym shark athlete in pursuit of my 2021 goal of finding a wife. So I've been watching a bunch of his vlogs and one thing is clear is that he repeats his jokes over and over again. And they're not really jokes per se, they're more like callbacks to previous jokes or stories. Kind of like a sitcom, having like a continuous storyline that they revisit over and over again. And they don't try to, you know, resolve it within one episode. They just remind the audience that there's this struggle that happens over and over again. Like in Friends, Joey struggled to become an actor and generally more responsible human being. It doesn't get resolved, um, maybe ever. Um, but for Ali, what's even more interesting is that he actually names them. When he says Gymshark athlete, his audience is instantly reminded that Ali's trying to get a six pack and they also know that his roommate is also named Lucifer because she's constantly tempting him to get more food. And I mean, it, it's fitting, I suppose. What is the most productive way to tell a joke? It's to name the joke so you don't even have to tell the joke. Okay, so the second rule of Ali's style is let's add in some subplots. For me, I guess there are a few specific areas that I'd like to become 100% responsible for. 
One, get healthier. Two, be a legit YouTuber. Three, being a great dad and husband. And what are the struggles? Well, zero exercise, horrible eating habits. Um, and as a YouTuber, struggle to make money, how to make videos more efficiently, how to be a more present dad and husband, um, no energy, no ideas on doing something fun. Yeah, life is a struggle. But of course, Ali doesn't only talk about his struggles, he does definitely do his fair share of flexes. That he's actually working out and eating terrible airplane food that is supposed to control his caloric intake. He's having Zoom chats with the team that he put together to make his channel a huge success. And I'd say that he's doing it in a cheeky way. And since he's actually sharing his struggles as well, he's neither coming across as a douchebag or a sad sack, as Matthew Dix would say. The story of how you are an amazing person who did an amazing thing and ended up in an amazing place is not a story. It is a recipe for douchebag. The story of how you're a pathetic person who did a pathetic thing and remained pathetic is also not a story. It's a recipe for a sad sack. Okay, so now for the third rule. Let's add some wins. Productive. I still do that Benjamin Franklin thing and wake up at 5 a.m. every day. I'm using my focus journal. Healthy wins. Man, there's like, there's like absolutely nothing right now. I guess I could go for a run. Um, eat better. Uh... YouTuber, um, I guess I could, uh, man, I guess that means I'll actually have to do all of this stuff, eh? Hey, everybody wants a shortcut in life. My guidebook is very simple. You want to lose weight? Stop eating, fatty. You want to make money? Work your ass off, lazy. You want to be happy? Find someone you like and never let him go. I mean... Maybe we should be doing something more meaningful with our lives. Like helping people. 